hello welcome back to our channel hope you guys are doing well my name is zita my name is eric and today we have another exciting video yes definitely i can't <laughs> wait to get right into it but before we get into it if this is your first time please subscribe like and if you feel like this content has been helping you and you have some people that you think you can help them please share with them okay yes yes please do so we are gonna jump right in into today's video often at times we think that what causes us to fail is what we don't know but sometimes it's what we know because we hold on to the things we know that are not working so rather than doing the things that you know do the things that work yeah that's right and that's why sometimes if so many people seem to to be doing the same thing and it's not working there's a call for a change yeah and today we are talking about some of the misleading advice marital advice or misleading marriage advice or relationship as mm. I, can, I can say that some i won't say it's bad but they should they should add context to it yeah like explain because what do you mean by this or that so yeah. we are gonna jump right in so who starts yeah drum roll no you start Robert first Bassiza. i know you start first <laughs> <laughs> so okay i i wrote down some of my points and the first point i have is mm -hmm. that your spouse or your children come first mm. you know before i got married i was advised that see your husband comes first your children comes first mm -hmm. like every other person comes first if your husband you don't eat when your husband has not eaten mm. your children like you live for them mm. no that's not true mm -mm. You live first for you. Yeah. You know. You cannot give. What you, you cannot don't give have. what you don't want, and and that that has caused a lot of ladies. Like, see, ladies, I'm here for you. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be rooting for you. So a lot of my points are towards women. Yeah. You know. So you, we have seen women that have emaciated. Mm -hmm. They are that they have become an image of what they used to be because they work like they do everything i have to like i have to do this i have mm -hmm. to do that i have to work hard i have to cook i have to because if i don't do it this marriage is not gonna work <sighs> that's a lot that's some advice that i think need to be redressed readdressed yes. we need to talk about it we self-help or self-care is not selfish take care of yourself yeah. there was this time when my kids were back home I remember my mother-in-law was not feeling too well and she had to go to the hospital and she kept procrastinating because she <laughs> said I don't want to leave the kids by themselves yeah, and I called her crazy. one day and I said mommy why have you not gone to the hospital she said oh the kids the kids I told her see if you stay and die the kids are even gonna suffer more <laughs> they need you to be okay yeah. to take better care of them our kids need us at our best yeah and that's how we can give back to that's, them. that's how, how we can take, can take, care, take of care of them that's how, how really? i can take care of my husband when i am okay yeah when i'm good if you need, if you are tired rest mm. if you cannot that's cook it's okay mm. you don't have to break yourself and then leave the kids halfway because you fall sick women have even died yeah it's because they sad. are putting every other person it's not even in, even in real life sometimes we feel like we have to put others before ourselves mm -hmm. which is very very wrong take mm -hmm. care of yourself take care put yourself yeah. first because that relationship your children your husband they need you to be at your best to be at your best Healthy, that's the strong. only way you can take care of them because if you worn out or if you wear out yeah, and I mean, then at the end of the day it, you're not a robot you're not you're so, not a machine you know this put your family first or your spouse or your children first i feel is an advice that is good but it needs to be explained further yeah so 
Um, I have some some points here, mm. and I wanted to talk about the stuff where they say men have the final say in every decision just because they are the head of the house. Oh my god! Yeah, that is um, it's um, it needs more context, I would say. Yeah. You know, because like for example, if you are making the decisions of your family, and let's say some of the decisions are not working for the good of the family. You know, maybe it's going to cause your um, your financial situation to get down the drain and then your kids will have to suffer and your wife and yourself. And then maybe your partner, your wife has a better, um, let's say, uh, idea that could be a good investment plan for you guys. And then you just say no, because I'm the man of the family. I make those choices and you know, I, I, I make that choice. I will make that decision. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, if something happens, you know, you, you should own up to it. You know, don't, don't let your ego come in the way and say, because I'm a man mm. and I made the decision and we all make mistakes. That's arrogance, yeah. to be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, because I don't think that my wife will want us to fail. Mm. You know, and I'm not saying that she knows everything and I'm not saying I know everything. You know, That's why we are together to complement one another. You know, so I might be going for a business decision that is not wise for the family. And mm. then she might be like, babe, come on. You know, what do you think? You know, let's talk about this thing first. You know, that's why it's very important that, you know, we discuss almost every, I could say we discuss almost everything, everything. before we make decisions, especially mm -hmm. that involves finances. Finances you know? and every other, other things even yes, I, can, other I things. can say. Because I, I mean, like I grew up in an environment where what does it say is stands. It stands. It chooses everything. Mm. And sometimes the way... It, even when it comes to children, mm. the women spend more time with the kids. So they mm. know certain things about the kids that the man does not know. Mm -hmm. But the man just walks in and like, they are going to this school, they are doing this thing, mm. they are doing this, and I'm the man of the house, and I've said it, my decision is final. <laughs> I'm not mm. refusing your head of the house position. I'm no, just no saying that sometimes we should also trust other people's decisions, especially when it comes to the general good of the family. Yeah, because it's two people. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's two people in a relationship. All right, that was one of my points. And do you have another one? Yes. Okay. Um, another advice that I think should be readdressed is don't tell anyone about your marital issues or relationship issues. I beg to differ. Mm. Because sometimes you need a third eye. Yeah. You need um you need another voice of reason. Yeah. In that relationship. Sometimes things get or things are getting out of hand. Yeah. And you cannot say no, Namia, you will die here. Like, no. If you need help, don't shy away from help. No. And I will say this point blank to singles. If you are in a relationship or a prospective or suitor or something and they keep telling you don't tell anybody about our relationship to me that's a red flag yeah if you don't have anybody to be accountable for hmm. that is a red flag so if your relationship has issues have a trusted person whom you can confide in whom you can get help from yeah. sometimes it's, it, there's just this blockage mm -hmm. where the two of you cannot go past because i'm in my mm -hmm. feelings he is in his feelings we need someone that is neutral to just come and say something yeah. so we go past it yeah i'm not for tell everybody, everybody every nitty gritty no. about your relationship or every little thing you're rushing to tell everyone but if it gets to the point where you need help find someone find a mentor a pastor a big brother a friend a trusted person you should have one yeah. don't go telling your things to microphone or those friends that immediately you tell one person Everybody 20 knows. years you mm. should know and that's why you should mind the kind of people you keep in your circle yeah. And sometimes we go about acting all cool, couple goals, this, that, that, that. And you see relationship, everything is going well till so it goes down. Yeah. Because they have been having internal issues and acting them. like they are the they boss this. of the thing. We got this, we are got the gods this. of relationship. No. <laughs> if it if if they tough, if they the going gets yeah. tough, yeah. Mm -hmm, ask for help. <laughs> Ask for help. You are not a superhuman. Yeah. Ask for help from a, your in-law or somebody. Mm -hmm. This issue about no, it's you, the two of you in the relationship. Of course, it's the two of you. But sometimes, yeah. that's why even when you're getting married, people come to witness it because those same people should be there when things get tough. Mm -hmm. 
find someone that you can ask help from please guys yeah if it gets to a point ask help so i'm not all about don't tell your marital issues to anybody die there no that has led marriages to crash a lot yeah because people don't want to get the help that they need yeah that's true yeah that was a good one so um there's another point here which is the man is supposed to show no weakness oh my goodness then as a man you <laughs> don't have to show weakness yes. i you think know, we, we said something like that in the anniversary yeah. video. if you've not if you, watched it you should go watch it yeah just check out the anniversary video yes. i think we're going to put it somewhere here yeah and it's crazy because um if they are saying that we shouldn't show weakness yes i can understand you know because as a man the head of the house you have to be strong but being weak doesn't being strong doesn't mean um you have things coming up and then you cannot have a proper conversation with your partner yeah you know the reason why i'm using this example is because things happen i mean this is life you mm. know it could happen in your office it could happen maybe from a friend or from a relationship mm -hmm. and you might be feeling you know down mm -hmm. and maybe having that conversation with your spouse i just say hey babe you know um somebody made me feel this way today mm -hmm. you know sometimes people even cry in the process which it's not weakness mm -hmm. that's a form of strength showing that you are strong enough to show that you feel this way you know but most people say no it's a weakness it's not mm -hmm. and also when you share the information let's say you have that conversation out what happens is that you might hear another perspective mm -hmm. you know that will shed more light and then you feel like oh I, I'm even feeling this way maybe it wasn't about this maybe yeah. there was something else mm -hmm. you know so I think it's very important that you know we should be able to express how we feel mm -hmm. express ourselves you know if we are in pain we should ask for, yeah, help. ask for help you know we shouldn't just like hog it all up and then maybe tomorrow it becomes a volcanic eruption and mm -hmm. then it goes out of control that's so, true yeah I, I've always said that the, the best gift mm -hmm. a man can give is the ability to express emotions. Yeah. We have grown up in this masculine world where they say you have to be tough, you don't have to be this. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go to my next point. Mm. Mm, which um they say what's that? You should always agree with your partner. <laughs> oh my god like don't disagree with your husband I, I, the way they told me this thing i was like yeah. hey yeah. like no just find a way like you and your husband you have to be saying the same thing you guys so agree you have to just and, and, and. <laughs> I, see you know i i think that i that actually you know it it needs to it needs some more context thank you that's because, what i'm saying yeah because yeah it's true there's a level of truth in that. Yes. But you cannot just agree. agree on everything. Like we are two different people. Yeah, we've come to 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 being one. Yeah. That doesn't mean we still have things that we don't agree. And let me let me say, if the thing is not like, if we disagree, it means there is a problem. Mm -mm. No, we disagree to agree, yes. and it's okay. We cannot be on the same page. All and like time. I said, it's about mutual respect. Yeah. I respect even his differences. Yeah. We have political things that we don't agree on. Mm -hmm. We have, even when it comes, sometimes when it comes to raising kids, mm -hmm. there are times where we feel like, um, he is like, I'm the this. And, and sometimes I used to accuse him like, oh, so yeah, the good cop. And I'm the bad cop because he's the, <laughs> um, I don't lay hands on kids. I don't do uh -huh. this on that. And I'm all of that. But sometimes I raise my voice, you know. Yeah. And he's like, no, I'm not the don't raise your voice. I'm, I'm like, don't spare the rod and spoil the child and some of those things but <laughs> yeah we it's okay sometimes to not agree on everything, everything. Yeah. but disagreement does not mean there is a problem we should respectfully mm. have differences yeah i think it's okay yeah. and it has caused couples to agree to things that internally deep inside they, will they don't like they will yeah. never have yeah. agreed to things like that and sometimes it starts from even the engagement or the courtship yeah this is a, a okay this if my husband says so then hmm. like no at the end of the day you cause yourself to be unhappy yeah it's okay for us to have differences yes we are supposed to have to be on the same page 
but it doesn't mean literally everything no differences are allowed if we have them respectfully yeah okay and then there's this topic that they say men are naturally polygamous oh my goodness so that's something that <laughs> You know, we've talked about this yeah, like I've, a lot yeah it's crazy because i've i've even met people you know who told me that mm. you know like you cannot be a, a guy without a side chick you know it doesn't work like that you know and they'll tell me that we've been in this thing before you got here so this is how it works so what i'm trying to say is this everybody has the ability to have to feel this to feel a certain way you mm. understand mm -hmm. and it doesn't mean that you know if you feel a certain way you just run around and then you know even women too, women feel a certain yeah. way, as men feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. But you, you shouldn't, you know, do something and then just like, oh, since they say all men are polygamous, so. you know, so I'll just do this, you know, because yeah. I'm not in need alone. It's a Brother, choice. you're in need alone. <laughs> it's a choice, you know. You choose to get into, yeah. you understand, into a situation. You did that. You did that, own it. <laughs> Only say yes, this is my thing, no, I did it, no, not our thing. No. You know, because I know, I'm saying it because I know that there are some guys out there who, are, of course, are going to disagree with me, which is fine, but there are also people out there who understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Because it's a choice. It's a choice. You know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't want to say... And I feel say... like because they have made that a norm, mm -hmm. people who could resist the urge just, they easily just chicken out because they're like oh it's a man thing yeah oh um yeah it's our problem so let's just accept it yeah no it's a no. choice it's a choice yeah to be honest yeah so was that your last or second last? second to the last point okay so um another point i have here is this advice they give women to have sacred property oh. sacred bank account sacred properties have <sighs> sacred um something yeah why <laughs> why and and they'll say because in case something happens why would you want to get into marriage and you're already open looking at one leg in one, one leg, leg out. in one leg out if you oh, are what a not start. yeah what a start you are coming in and preparing for guns blazing <laughs> for your exit strategy yeah, yes you are coming in with exit <laughs> strategy and if you come in with that oh energy God. that that's what's definitely gonna happen yeah like almost 100 like of the, the two have become yeah. one it's everything together once there is a secret there hmm. is sin is bound to about yes it is as you think you become like that's the thing the whole idea about secrecy anything that is not brought to light has evil in it yeah that's how i see it It grows it grows and it keeps growing keeps growing and i've heard that a lot i've gone to salons i've been around women and mm. they're like no have your small thing that's your own yeah yeah and 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 i've even heard that with men yeah, like even, yeah, even the woman should not know you the, the no, amount your bank you, accounts you, 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 earn, you earn or they, you should have a separate account that your wife knows nothing about wow. and that has made people have gone into issues and yeah. banks own the money, own the money. like like I'm, I'm sure that maybe somebody knows somebody that this happened to where the guy has a couple of bank accounts yeah. he dies and then the kids have to suffer and the wife because the people that he opened the bank the account at their bank know that Nobody has the access to this account. If you and don't they end trust up eating the, the money. Person, why marry them in the first, first place? place? Why? If you if you know that tells you the kind of person you are. Yeah. To me, it's not even the other. It's you. It's if you. you if you are not there for the right reasons, why are you there in the first place? Yeah, wasting your time. And wasting your time when you already have exit strategies. No. Yeah. No, I, I think that's not a good advice. It's a misleading advice that has brought issues. Be the, the thing is, the truth is, each time those things come to light, mm -hmm. there is a problem. Yeah, there is that's a problem. That's to say it's not good. Yeah. We should stop giving such advice. Yeah. Women having separate properties or separate these homes and bank accounts, no. Yeah. So, um, there's also another thing that, you know, that they always tell us that you should not refuse sex. You know, especially when it comes, they always say, especially to women. Ah, like, I, that, <laughs> that <laughs> point is my point. <laughs> that, you know, they say that, that even if you are sick, I'm like, what? Yeah. Even if you are sick. That's one advice they give from church, 
to the, to the signing, civil yes, signing yeah, yeah. tradition like your, your, even, your, even your friends your way, family everybody's telling you the they same tell you thing. no deny never <laughs> say no to don't don't eh, eh, if your husband needs it as he touches you just turn and like, just, yeah, you, like and, and to me i feel like that 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 goes to say mm. marry someone that you guys are friends yeah marry your friend yeah. marry someone that understands you yeah marry someone that can just look at you and like babe today the energy is not there yeah or you are having an emotional breakdown or you are you are having an emotional something and there is no need wh- because i feel like mm-hmm. first the idea of the fact that it's an act mm-hmm. and it's a, a responsibility and not um i, I don't know how to say act or just for responsibility right it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a duty mm-hmm. and not for enjoyment yeah, you understand for, yeah. why would you want to do that when it's not enjoyable for the both of you yeah. i'm not i'm not denying sacrifices and and mm-hmm. and sometimes just trying to go out of your way to make the other person happy but there are, but moments, the fact there are that times that they have made it a law like no you should never yeah. each time your husband you should just yeah that's, that's and so the thing is mostly and i've made the sex thing to be a man's thing mm. i'm not hurt when they say when a woman wants it never say no no it's most often they always say the man is if the man wants, wants it, it give yeah, it give it yeah that's crazy yeah so another thing that i i uh, you should always have Love conquers all. Oh, Another thing I want to say, it's a misleading advice. Is no love conquers all. If you love him, just stay. If you <laughs> love him, marry him. No, it takes more than love. Yeah. Love does not conquer all. Sometimes. No. Commitment conquers all. Yeah. Forgiveness conquers all. Yeah. Responsibility. Mm. Showing up when you say you are going to show up. Yeah. It's not. It takes more than love. It takes more than love. That's true. Oh my God. It takes hard work. It takes determination. It takes commitment. Mm. It takes honesty. It takes integrity. Doing what you say you are going to do. Yeah. It takes more than love yeah. for things to work. I think I think love is like maybe 10%. <laughs> I'm not using up to 5%. Yeah, because see, I mean, people love all the time. You know, people meet people, love them, then they break up, then they love somebody else. So... Come on. You can love and unlove, love. right? Yeah. I think the thing that keeps relationship is commitment. It's not it's, commitment. it's not love. And mm. people have almost died in relationship because I love him. I love him. Oh, yeah. the thing is, Z, the thing is, he just, da, 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 but I still love him. I'm like, what are you loving in him? Oh my God. Or what are you loving in her? Yeah. It's crazy. It's so crazy. I've heard that even with young people that you see, a, like I've had people like i'm a coach and i have people that i mentor and someone comes to me to tell me about someone that they want to get married to and they 50 percent the only thing they tell me is i love him mm. and i'm waiting to hear more that's it so what what else because if all is the fact that it's love that's not enough yeah it's not enough it's not so is that it yeah i think that's it for now for now I mean, so guys, these are some of the misleading advice that we've gotten about marriage and relationship. So let's yeah. just go go over them again. Yeah, yeah. So I said that men, you know, have a final say mm. in every decision just because mm-hmm. they're the head of the house. Because That's one of the misconceptions. Yes. And then the other one was the man is supposed to show no weakness. Oh. That's crazy too. <laughs> and then then they say that we are told not to refuse sex especially women should mm. not refuse sex to men all of those things are like so i have um your family comes first before mm-hmm. you so mm. you have to make compromises and mm. everything even when it goes against your own at your detriment you know yeah. you put your family first i i also talked about um you should always agree with each other and i bet to differ i believe and i think that mm-hmm. we can respectfully have differences yes we can have disagreements and it's okay not always war we are not bound to be um loving everything no mm. and then um don't tell anyone about your marital issues or relationship issues 
no if you need help get help have a trusted Absolutely. friend or yeah. family and whatever love conquers all it takes more than love it's not just love it takes more than love commitment mm -hmm. integrity forgiveness working on yourself it's a lot yeah. and i'm doing a series about finding your spouse oh my mm. girls of anyone who is working on their relationships so just stay tuned and more will be coming your way definitely thank you so much for watching you finished your point yes so thank you guys so much if you love what we do here yeah. let someone know stick around and see you on our next video